thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Barbie Tribute Collection Laverne Cox. Now, I am super excited about this doll because this is, to, in my opinion, a really important doll to have in my collection. Now, when I first saw her in the promo pictures, I was like, that don't look like no Laverne Cox. But then I thought to myself, these are promo pictures. Maybe she'll look like her in real life. I wasn't going to not let that stand in my way of getting this doll. So let's take a closer look at this doll to see Laverne Cox. So this is the box for the Barbie Tribute Collection Laverne Cox doll. Four-time Emmy-nominated actress, Emmy-winning producer, and first transgender woman of color to have a leading role on a scripted TV show. So let's take a closer look at her. And of course, we got some glare here, but we're still going to take a look at her because I want to see what she looks like in the box. And I will say, just looking at her here, I don't really... I think that the sculpt looks like... Laverne Cox, but maybe it's the screening of the eyes that I'm not seeing Laverne Cox. Some of my friends are saying she looks like Deborah Cox from, what's that, someone's gotta be here, no one's supposed to be here song. I don't know, but I'll take her out of the box so we can take a closer look. But I do wanna see here on the box, it does have this really beautiful picture of Laverne and it has a quote here. It's important with all messages that might tell you otherwise that you have it within yourself to say, I am smart, I am beautiful, I'm amazing, I'm enough. Laverne Cox. Very, very cool. I'm actually going to turn the box over so that we can see. Look at that. She is so beautiful. And it says Laverne Cox, actress and activist. And I'm actually going to pull back so that if you want to actually pause this, and read this, you can. I think it actually has some really important information. I just didn't want to have to read it out loud to you. But at the bottom it says, the Tribute Collection celebrates visionaries whose incredible contributions have helped shape and impact culture. And that is certainly something that Laverne Cox has done. So I am going to pull back just a little bit and try to figure out how to get this box open. I think, oh, I think there's these little plastic tabs here. Normally I would just get my blade, but I'm feeling like, oh, look at this. Look how easy this is to open. Wait a minute. I mean, have I spoken too soon? Can I tug? Okay. I'm trying to tug. Not, okay. Maybe I did speak too soon. Okay. Opening the top was easy. But let's see. How do I get her out of this box? I feel a little, so ah, let me pull some more. It's tugging up and of course I am damaging the box but I am not planning on keeping this box but yeah I am tugging with all of my might it's not working so I'm going to then if you can't push or pull then you do the opposite so I'm gonna see if I can work her out from the bottom I see there's some tape here and not much easier from the bottom all tea, no shade. <laughs> or the all tea. Never mind. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so anyway, let's go in close on the Laverne Cox doll. And I will say, although she's lovely, I'm not really seeing. I see Laverne Cox in the um, sculpt, but not in the screening. So I bet you there are going to be some repaint artists who are actually going to hook this doll up and make it really look like this. That's gorgeous. This is nice. You know, I think it's pretty, but this is gorgeous. So anyway, you, as you can see, look like she's got some sort of leather bodice here and then looks like there is a tool skirt and a silver i heard it's a bodysuit but we can't see the complete bodysuit with the leather part here so i'm going to remove this doll from the liner so that we can take a closer look at the doll and all of the accessories and outfit pieces that come with her so the Barbie Tribute Collection Laverne Cox doll comes with three outfit options. So let's do a 360 on the first option. 
So this is the first look for the Barbie Tribute Collection Laverne Cox doll. And as you can see, she's got this deep red tulle skirt piece and also the same matching bodice. I wanted you to see how it looks kind of from all angles, but with the display stand, I'm glad that it does come with a display stand, but with the type of display stand that it comes with, it doesn't display, in my opinion, really well uh, from behind. I guess you would have to take the post and try to put it into the outfit and fit it maybe to make it a little bit better but I didn't want to uh, make adjustments to the outfit like that before I showed it to you so let's go in on this face now this is the Laverne Cox sculpt she got her own sculpt there and also take a look at the hair tones in there I love all the tones that you see in her hair, it's actually really beautiful. I'm gonna go in some more so that we can see the screening there, although it's pretty. I'm not seeing Laverne. You let me know what you think in the comments. I'm very curious to know what you think. So, as you can see, she does come on a kind of like made to move type body, which is I believe called the articulated superhero body. And I don't know much about the body. I know that it's been used in some of the DC superhero, um, also some of, I think like Billie Jean King and some of the more, uh, I think athletic dolls. So we'll take a closer look at the body as some of these outfit pieces are removed. Let's take a look at the leather piece here. And it comes on and off with Velcro in the back. You can't really see it, her hair is blocking it. But I also want to just get a close look at the pretty tool. And look at that sparkly kind of effect that how it goes with the uh, bodysuit that's underneath. Very pretty. And that is our first 360 of Barbie Tribute Collection, Laverne Cox. So I wanted to show you a few things while I was undressing the doll. The first is that it does have a clear strap on the dress to help keep it in place. Also, there's the Velcro opening. And then look at the body. It says like genuine Barbie or something like that. I'm gonna take that this uh, bodice off in just a second. So that is the earring. It's just kind of really hard to see with all of the hair, but I did want you to see what it looked like. So when trying to remove the leather bodice piece, I see that it's actually, as you can see, this is how it looks in the front. I thought that the, the tool was just a skirt, but it looks like it's actually kind of a dress piece. I don't know. But when you go back here, as you can see, it's actually sewn together but it also has the Velcro, so it's okay to cut the threads there. But I do want to let you know that it is actually sewn together. So I cut the thread to the bodice top, and I wanted to show you that it's okay to do that because it does have the Velcro on there, but you will have to cut it if you want to completely remove it. So without the leather bodice pieces, you can see the tool is actually like a tool dress, actually. I thought it was just a skirt, but it's actually a tool dress not just a skirt. And it actually comes on and off with the Velcro in the back. So in case you were curious of what was actually embossed on her back, it does say genuine Barbie, and it says the 2016 Mattel, which is when I believe the superhero articulated body was created. So for those of you like me who might be unfamiliar with the articulated superhero body, this is what it actually looks like. And as you can see, it's very similar to the regular Barbie body. However, it does look more athletic. But I think that the name articulated superhero body is kind of misleading because it's actually better than that. And I'm going to go in just to show you here. Look at the joints at the elbows and at the knees. These are made to move joints. So this is a really, really better feature than just 
articulated. This is made to move articulated. Also, I was curious to know if the shoe, what shoes would fit on her. And it turns out she's got the arched foot, which is the Barbie signature foot. So the Barbie signature shoes should work on this doll. I already tried it on. And although it was a little tight, it worked nice and snugly. And for those of you who are curious about her manicure, here you go. So here is Barbie Tribute Collection Laverne Cox doll in her silver bodysuit. Let's do a 360. This silver bodysuit looks absolutely beautiful. And I learned a couple of things as I was posing this doll. Although she does have the made to move elbow and knee joints, it doesn't necessarily mean she has the arms and legs so that it's kind of a little bit more difficult to pose her than a regular made to move. So there are some limitations. I had a hard time even doing the hand on the hip pose, but that was pretty good. So I thought, eh, I'll let it ride. But I'm glad that at least she is articulated. But I did want to mention that. Let's take a look at those curls again. And of course, you could see top here it has the clear straps on both sides and you could see the material there and also the velcro opening and as we go down you can see that the shoes are actually a part of the outfit they actually are inside and you just fit the foot into the high-heeled shoes which I love when doll manufacturers use that feature. It's very cool. Instead of trying to put a shoe over some stockings or a bodysuit, it works much nicer that way. And I just want to see her once again in this. It's very pretty. And that is the second look for the Barbie Tribute Collection Laverne Cox doll. And here is the Barbie Tribute Collection Laverne Cox doll in her third look. Let's do a 360. So as you can see now she's got the leather bodice piece over the silver bodysuit and it's very very cute. And one thing I also wanted to point out is that I noticed that the display stand is silver and not black as it standardly is and you know a lot of the display stands for the Barbie doll. So I thought it was really interesting that she has silver. But let's go in. We can see how that looks there. I really do love this bodysuit. It's really pretty. But I want to see more of that bodice slash corset. You can see it's actually very nicely made. And I'm going to scroll back so that we can see more of the outfit. And of course, let's see how she looks from that angle. Very pretty. And that is the third and final look for Barbie Tribute Collection Laverne Cox. I would like to welcome our panel. First, we have singer, actress, model, superstar, RuPaul. And Ru, I see you have a note for us. And your note says... You can also find me on iTunes. <laughs> Next, we have comedian Kathy Griffin. And Kathy, seems you have an all tea note for me. Wait a minute. It says, all tea, no shade. Hmm. And your note says, Edmund had me rerouted to be his Kathy Griffin doll. Ooh. Oh, that Kathy, always trying to spill the tea. <laughs> and last but never least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. So, Mama Roo, what are your thoughts on Barbie tribute collection Laverne Cox? 
and you have a note for me, and you say, all tea, all shade, integrity did it first, integrity did it better. Ooh, that's kind of harsh. Uh, Kathy, can you stop filming Rue, please? <laughs> so, Kathy, I see you have a note for me, and you say, ooh, it's kind of a big note. Ms. Rue might be hating on the new girl in town. Mattel has finally caught up with the times. I don't know about Rue hating, but I do think you're right about Mattel finally catching up with the times. And Alyssa, I see you have a note for me too. And you say, I'm going to need that silver bodysuit. Oh no, she didn't. <laughs> Miss Laverne, you might need an escort to your car after today's taping. <laughs> you too, Mama Roo. <laughs> well, thank you, panel. So I think that the Barbie tribute Laverne Cox doll is super awesome. I don't really think that the screening looks like Laverne Cox. That being said, I think the sculpt certainly does. And I think she's certainly really pretty. I don't know, I may send her off to a repainter to get properly done, but I think that this is a really good start on uh, for Mattel. I mean, really to do someone like Laverne Cox is absolutely, to me, phenomenal. And I'm so proud of Mattel for finally stepping up to represent women like Laverne. That being said, the outfit is super cute. Carlisle Nuera did a great job with this outfit. He got three different looks. All three are really phenomenal. I didn't think there was a dud look in any of the looks. So this to me you, is a really good doll to have in your collection. She's only retailing right now for $40. I'd get her now while she's $40 because I have a feeling this doll is going to go up in price very soon. So that being said, I like her, get her. So if you like this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, then please make sure that you do today, that there's a little button somewhere over here. You'll push that button. And when you do, you'll get notified of when I come up with new videos like this one. So Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a great day.